Today we are diving into the horror punk gem Morbid The Seven Acolytes, developed by Still Running and published by Merge Games. Set to release sometime in 2020. Morbid draws heavy inspiration from the kings of the get good genre. As is common in games like Dark Souls, the difficulty in Morbid goes quickly from manageable to I want to claw my freaking eyes out. This is mostly due to combat being methodical instead of button mashing. This is done mostly through the stamina system, which will frustrate the heck out of a player when they just need one more hit on an enemy. I found a well-timed dodge is more likely to save your life than another desperate swing of your weapon in Morbid. Speaking of weapons, several were introduced just in this demo. I saw a spear, axe, a big old sword, and several ranged weapons as well. This variety guarantees many playstyles, especially when you add in the improvement system that can add various effects to your existing weapons. While the story is never the focus of these kinds of games, they do instead focus on the lore. For now, Morbid tells its story through loading screens. The Steam description explains that our protagonist is the last surviving Striver of Dornia. Your mission is to defeat the Seven Acolytes, malevolent beings possessed by wicked deities called Gahars. The lore seems interesting, and I'm excited to see how it will be presented in the full release. The game embraces an isometric Dark Souls look, while differentiating itself with more gruesome art. Enemy design is brilliant and terrifying the more you look at it. Diseased creatures that pursue you until their undeath is complete. Great, right? Character models are well detailed, and the overall look of the game is appropriately dark for the tale the developers wish to tell. The music is gorgeous when it wants to be, and then creepy when it wants to freak you out. It also reaches epic levels once combat starts going. It's very reminiscent of the best tracks from the Soulsborne games. Sound design, however, has me torn. For the most part, they're well balanced and visceral. However, personally, I wish the sneaking sounds would be quieter in comparison to regular movements, and that attacks compared to voices were more balanced. My personal opinion, I love receiving at least some direction on where to go in games, but I realize that finding your own path is sort of a staple of the genre. Additionally, I would love to get some storytelling from other characters in the world. For now in the demo build, I felt detached and without a clear purpose except to kill the thorn demons and crow monsters roaming the town. I would be totally fine with text-only dialogue. All I want is some more interaction with the Thor the Dark World I was dropped into. Morbid the Seven Acolytes is a frustratingly brilliant isometric Soulsborne game. Any fan of the difficulty from that universe will love this one. The combat is slow but engaging, the aesthetic is perfectly gruesome, and the music haunting and dramatic. Thank you to Still Running for all the effort put forth here, and I wish the team the best as you finish this project. Thanks for watching, make sure to like, subscribe, and wishlist Formid the Seven Acolytes on Steam to be informed of all future updates and news. See you next time on Demo Dive.